Our system is holding up pretty well with uh, very minimal changes in here. Um, we have been running this since uh, uh, the summer of 2017, almost unmodified. Oh, there is no modification except a few balancers being replaced. Uh, we still have the five Tesla modules. Uh, we have our heating uh, system for the battery that keeps them at 75 degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit or higher. Um, we have the same morning star controller. One thing that has changed is actually we have now an AC wire, 120 volt coming in from the trailer. And during uh, the summertime when we have plenty of heat or electricity and we need electric heating, maybe staying at high altitude, we actually run an electric heater off the battery bank in the trailer in this place. Um, the Raspberry Pi system that keeps all the tracking of the data is uh, still the same. Uh, it hasn't really been productized, but it has been running super stable for the last three years now with the same Raspberry Pi, almost identical board out there. In the trailer has uh, nothing been changed except one of the Morningstar controllers uh, has been replaced with the uh, Midnight uh, in here. The Midnight is okay to use in a trailer. It's, uh, a much cleaner environment so the built-in fans is not so much of an issue in here. We can of course still uh, send power to either the motorhome or use it to charge our in-trailer uh, battery bank in here. In the summertime we have plenty of power so we're only using currently uh, nine of the 13 solar panels going to the motorhome and four of them is charging the battery bank uh, in the trailer itself. We are actually currently running a, a desktop gaming computer that is using something folding at home that is calculating molecule, molecules um, to help find a cure for the current pandemic in here. Our battery, battery bank down here has uh, been running again uh, unmodified for uh, more than two years in here. Um, there is no balancing in the 12 volts uh, mod or individual batteries so when the 24 volt it over time actually came quite a lot out of uh, balance in here so lately uh, just built a little system with some voltage uh, disconnects um, that is basically just keeping uh, a tiny resistor uh, if one of them get too high within a week uh, we managed to actually then come back and balance uh, this one uh, in we're currently self-isolating down here in the Lake Havasu area uh, and uh, we'll soon have to move out because it's getting a little warm in here. Um, we have uh, not been using the generator for the last two and a half years since we actually installed uh, the battery or the Tesla modules and get everything up and working. Uh, the whole system is holding up as planned for being able to run four nights and three days with the very minimal solar input. If we have some bad days, even at the middle of the winter, uh, where we can generate around 10 kilowatt hours of uh, power from our 13 solar panels, uh, is enough to keep us going. In the summertime, we get up to 30. And this time of year, uh, being mid-April, uh, we already had 20 kilowatt hours uh, generated every day, if we could use it for something.